What's up guys, the RAV4 was never a sporty SUV, but Toyota thinks that they can change that with the new Jira Sport trim following the steps of the Yaris, Yaris Cross, Corolla, CHR and Hilux in the European market. The RAV4 Jira Sport features subtle sport styling touches, more heat as standard and a tweaked suspension developed by Toyota GR. Essentially, it's a styling package combined with minimal mechanical changes. The engineers have retuned the suspension with stiffer springs and spoke tune shock absorber. Toyota promises this enable better handling and a more engaging driving experience. The Toyota RAV4 Jar Sport is distinguished by a set of 19-inch 5-spoke alloy wheels finished in gloss black with bright machine pinstripe detailing, piano black details around the bodywork, and a set of discreet badges on the grille and on the tailgate. The black exterior details include the new bezels for the front bumper intakes, the grille, the wheel arch moldings, the side seals, and the tailgate garnish between the tail lights. The dark look is then combined with a black roof inside. The highlight is a new pair of sport seats combining suede effect inserts and synthetic leather upholstery for the polsters and GR branded integrated headrest with contrasting stitching. The front seats are power adjusted with a memory function for the driver. Finally, the large 10.5 inch infotainment touchscreen and the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster introduced with the recent facelift in Europe are standard features in the GR Sport trim. As with the panoramic view monitor and the complete Toyota Safety Sense suite of aiders. As for the available powertrain option, they are both electrified and combined with Toyota's AWDI system. The 2.5-liter hybrid produces 219 horsepower, while the more efficient plug-in hybrid produces a combined 302 horsepower, just like in all other RAV4 trims. The first deliveries of the Toyota RAV4 GR Sport in European markets will commence in the fourth quarter of the 2022. Too. Pricing will be announced at a later date, although we expect them to be towards the high end of the lineup. Mitsubishi's lineup has dwindled in the United States, but its presence is strongest in Asia. Its latest concept vehicle previews a vision for a small utility vehicle with beefy styling and a futuristic interior. Unveiled in Ho Chi Minh City, the XFC concept is a compact SUV that Mitsubishi calls the best suited body for an exciting life with a silky and solid design. Marketing jargon aside. It has an all Mitsubishi design as opposed to the AS6's obvious French DNA. It boasts L-shaped LED headlights with louver-like daytime running lights mounted below for a light signature repeated at the rear where the tail lights have a similar appearance. The interior follows recent trends by adopting side-by-side -side screens, but thankfully there are still separate controls for the climate settings. They are mounted on a touch capacitive panel on the center console, where we also notice the floating gear selector and the stop start button. Curiously, sections of the front seats and rear bench have a contrasting yellow finish that has also been used for the stitching throughout the cabin. The XFC concept appears to have a completely flat floor with enough room in the back for three passengers who have access to climate controls mounted on a touch panel. Mitsubishi says the small crossover has class-leading interior space and generous cargo volume behind the seats. Concepts rarely make it to production and change, so Mitsubishi is likely to alter the XFC's fantastic interior before release. The subsequent production version will be obviously turned down, so don't expect those glitzy lights and side cameras to survive. Technical specifications have not been provided, but we do know this is Mitsubishi's first vehicle to have a wet driving mode to enable safe driving even on roads flooded by sudden showers. The XFC concept has other selectable driving modes – normal, gravel and mud. Mitsubishi will launch the KFC oh, I mean XFC in 2023 and says an electric variant is coming down the road. Though it's still in the concept stage, the automaker plans for the SUV to become a core model for the brand on the global stage, alongside vehicles like its popular Expander MPV. When is a fancy Hyundai, not a Genesis? Right, when it's the grunter. It's a sedan inspired by a van inspired by a spaceship. The big sedan enters its seventh generation with a futuristic exterior design that will leave no one indifferent. If the name doesn't ring a bell, it's sold in some markets as the Azera. The the United States was one of them until the automaker axed it in 2017 by deciding not to bring the previous gen car. A substantial facelift arrived in late 2019, and now the all new model is here. In typical Hyundai Kia Genesis fashion, there are no technical specifications available at this point, though we are guessing the engine palette will include four and six cylinder units. The few official images provided show the 2023 Grandeur with a bold exterior design featuring a front fascia akin to the futuristic looking. 
a minivan. An LED light bar stretches across the entire width of the front, while the actual headlights are mounted lower in a separate cluster on the bumper to flank a massive grille. The side profile reveals door handles that remain flush with the body when not in use, while the quarter glass serves as a visual nod to the original grandeur from 1986. The long rear door strongly suggests the new grandeur has had its wheelbase stretched for greater rear legroom. It's now probably slotted between the Genesis J80 and J90 in terms of size. The uncluttered design continues at the back, where a full-width light bar echoes the one at the front. A gently curved trunk lid hosts the rear-view camera in the center, above the prominent grandeur lettering. To maintain the clean look, Hyundai hid the exhaust tip under the bumper, and we are noticing the absence of parking sensors. Granted, this isn't an actual image, so the real thing likely has the sensors integrated into the glossy black bar that surrounds the whole car. As for the interior, it too is a major departure from the previous generation model. It gets a dual-screen setup atop the dashboard alone, with a third display mounted lower on the center console from where the driver and passenger control the climate setting. It would seem the steering wheel's design takes after that of the first Grandeur, while the rear passengers have their own controls mounted between the seats. Ambient lighting in the door cars lets the cabin a cozy atmosphere, while the seats are wrapped in what Hyundai describes as an eco Nappa leather combined with hygienic antibacterial leather on some of the touch points. Other noticeable features include separate audio controls, a dual pane sunroof, and electrically operated front seats with interestingly shaped headrests. Full details should be disclosed in the coming weeks ahead of a market launch likely set for early 2023. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.